Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rebecca and on this channel I go for all things accounting, finance, excel and investment related. So if you do like this kind of content then please do consider subscribing but otherwise I'm going to jump straight into today's video. So I've just recently joined TikTok so that means that now you can ask me questions on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. So there's definitely more than one way of getting hold of me if there's a topic that you're not understanding or you need just a little bit more help on. Now, I did have a question on the TikTok account from a student who was struggling with bookkeeping controls. So this is where you've got the lights of errors or omissions on the TB and other elements of bookkeeping controls. But I've had quite a few questions in the Facebook group as well um, in the past sort of three months or so around omissions and errors and what is picked up on a TB and what is not. So I'm going to cover first of all what is picked up on a TB and why and then what isn't. So there's six different errors that could be picked up on a trial balance or a TB. And the first of those is what we call a single entry error. So this is where somebody's posted a journal, but they haven't posted the other side of the journal. And what I mean by that is they've only posted one side. As in, if you've got a prepayment, they've posted debit prepayments and not credit to the profit or loss account or income statement. So it means that you've got this missed balance. So when you look at the TB, if you're looking down and you're seeing your debits and credits, you're going to have a larger figure, say, in the debit column total than what you would in the credit column total because they've not posted this expense side of the prepayment journal. Now, when you're looking at TB yourself, that could be on either side, just depending on the journal that's been posted. So just make sure to take a look at that when you are looking at a question yourself. But basically, that's all a single entry error is. And that's why you would find it on a TB. It's not going to be um, hidden anywhere because you're going to have this mix, um, this misbalance. And again, what I mean by that is that you're going to have your debit or credit column bigger or smaller than the other. So it would be quite apparent that there's um, an issue or an error there. Now, the second one that you might find is what we call a casting error. So where you've got the likes of books of prime entry or you know, you've got sales ledger um, control accounts, and you've got your net back gross. It might be, for instance, that somebody has incorrectly calculated the total column. So say if net and fat was £100 net and £20 fat, the gross should have been £120, but in actual fact, somebody's casted it wrong and they've put £130. Then when you go ahead and look at the trial balance itself, that's not going to add up. Because when we think of the likes of a, a sales invoice entry for a business that is VAT registered, you're going to have credit sales, um, credit VAT, and then debit to the sales ledger control account. Now, if that debit to the sales ledger control account, i.e. the gross of those two um, values, differs to what you've credited for the sales income and the VAT, there's going to be a difference, and that is going to be very apparent in the trial balance. So that's just another example. The third error that will be picked up by a trial balance is what we call a transposition error. And that is just where somebody is simply putting the wrong figures the wrong way around into um, a journal, for instance. So say somebody's putting a crawl into the accounts that should have been, let's say, uh, £250, but instead they've posted it as £520. So they've just mixed up the numbers as they've been putting that in. And it's going to create a transposition error. So again, that's just where somebody's incorrectly put in those figures. Usually you can pick up a transposition error by dividing the difference that you've found by nine. And if that creates a whole number, then usually it's a transposition error. So that's just a little tip if you do find that in your set of accounts or your trial balance. Now the fourth error that you might find is an extraction error. So what an extraction error is, is where somebody's potentially put something the wrong way around. So it could be, that, again, let's think of um, a bank balance. So if a bank balance is a positive bank balance and they've put that as a credit, as in almost shown as if it's a liability and overdraft on the TB, then again, that's going to become quite apparent because your balance sheet or statement of financial position is not going to balance. And purely by the fact that you can see it doesn't balance is going to mean that you're going to pick it up on the trial balance. Now, the fifth type of error that you might see is what we call an omission. So what an omission is, is where somebody simply hasn't entered the figure for a ledger onto the trial balance. So it could just be that they've missed off, say, um, the entire liability for VAT off the balance sheet or statement of financial position. So again, your trial balance is not going to balance, so it's going to be quite clear that something has been um, omitted or there's another error 
in um, the trial balance. Now the very last error that you might find on your trial balance is where somebody has entered um, two entries onto the same side. So again, where you've got a journal, you've got to have a debit and a credit. It could be that that's been posted as a debit and a debit instead of a debit and a credit. So they're not going to contra off, they're not going to net down to nil. Instead, you're going to have two values on one side. So that again is going to cause your figures to be different in the trial balance and therefore you're going to pick it up when you look at the trial balance. Now there's also six different errors that will not appear in the trial balance and I'll explain why that might be. So the first of those is what we call a reversing entry error and it's simply where a debit and a credit has been made to the correct accounts. So you know say repairs nominal and again let's just use prepayments as an example but they've been posted on the wrong side to those individual accounts. So overall, the net to nil, so you've got your debit and you've got your credit, but they've been posted to the wrong sides in those nominal accounts. So again, that's something that you're not going to see on the trial balance because they net to nil, you've got both entries in your account somewhere. They're just not on the right side. Now, another error that you're not going to find on the trial balance is where you've got an error of original entry. This is where somebody's posted the wrong figure on both the debit and the credit side. So again, with this type of transaction, it's going to net to nil because you've got a debit and a credit. So they contra each other off. But the issue there is that the original entry was wrong. So an example might be where somebody's entered a purchase invoice incorrectly. So you've got the debit side in the income statement incorrect, and then the credit side in the creditor's control account incorrect too. But you're not going to pick that up on the TB because they do net down to nil. Now, another error that you're not going to find is where you've got a compensation error. So you might have an issue where somebody's posted the wrong figures as a debit and credit, and then they've posted another journal with the wrong figures as a debit and credit. But the differences between those two journals actually net to nil. So they actually compensate each other. And because of that, they again are not going to show up on the trial balance. Now, another error that you might find is an error of omission. So this might be where an entire entry into the financial statements has not been made at all. So this might be where a cash invoice has not been posted and then the actual receipt of cash has not been posted either. So it's not going to show up anywhere in the accounts that there is an error. So you're not going to see that on your trial balance. Now another type of entry that you're not going to find um, on the TB is what we call an error of commission. So this might be where you've been posting a journal and the debit and credit is correct um, and you've selected um, the correct debit account but unfortunately you've missed the credit account and you've posted that to the wrong place. So we just call that an error of commission and it's not going to show up because again the transaction's um, contra to nil, the journal has balanced and so there's going to be a debit and credit in the TB but it's just not going to show up in the correct nominal. On the trial balance. And finally we've got what we call the error of principle. So this is very much like the error of commission except for it's deliberate. So it means that somebody's you know they don't know where to post something and they've just posted it to the wrong account on purpose. So it might be that there's been a purchase of an asset in the year and let's just say the individuals posted it to repairs on purpose because they didn't know how to deal with it on the balance sheet. So we call that again an error of principle. So I hope that's covered off all of the errors that you might find on the TV and what you um, won't find on the TV and why, and just give me a bit of background behind that. So if you like the video, then please do give it a thumbs up because it helps YouTube to push out the channel to other students who might benefit as well. Um, consider subscribing as always, and I shall see you on the next video.